Hello, welcome to a new vlog. I feel like all I've been doing lately is just like vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. So I'm currently wearing two separate earrings. I figured it'd be a really good look. I'm just kidding. I'm actually just trying to decide which pair I wanna wear. This pair matches my scrunchie better, but this pair I like better, I think. It's very glittery. So I think I'm just gonna say screw it and wear the glittery hearts because I think they're adorbs. So Becky and I are just about to go out <laughs> to a store, like always. There we go. Super cute. So here's a random tidbit. I don't dox people, so I'm not gonna like say who it is, but we live two doors down. Two doors, isn't two doors down a band? Whoa. We live two doors down from a celebrity. Um, so that's that. Becky just told me that the band is called Three Doors Down, not Two Doors Down. That's awkward. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I did not film anything yesterday or last night. It was honestly just kind of one of those days where I wasn't up for it. <laughs> I just needed a little vlogging break because it just feels like that's all I'm doing lately. I mean, obviously it is my job, but I just needed like a moment. So right now I'm actually going to put on my eyelashes. I use the magnetic eyelashes, which I talk about these all the time, but every time I wear them, people ask me where I get them. It is the Ari Shine Magnetic Eyeliner and Eyelashes Kit. Gorgeous and flawless. I do get it from Amazon. And this is what it looks like. I will be wearing the second row. So I personally love them. The only thing I dislike, and what I also love is that you could reuse them. Hi. Um, what the only thing I dislike though is the fact that to get this eyeliner off, sis, it's hard. It's hard to get it off. I'm very much used to the e.l.f. eyeliner, which is my favorite. The e.l.f. liquid eyeliner is thebomb.com. So using this is kind of like different for me because when I used to mess up on my winged eyeliner, it was easy to wipe off. E.l.f. eyeliner definitely did good in that regard. But this stuff literally wants to marry your face and move in like after the first date. And you know what? Whatever. At least I know sis is staying put. So I look like <laughs> mid makeup is the worst. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so after they're on, I like to take a better than SEX mascara and add it. It's mainly to my bottom eyelash by doing this little maneuver. So my real eyelash, cool, I got mascara on my nose. And so my real eyelash looks as black as the fake eyelashes and it like makes them to wear it's not, like there's always like this weird white, you know, flesh, obviously under my eyeliner and this hides it, this makes it go away. Okay, so I have done foundation, which I use Becca Luminous Foundation. I have freaking makeup all over my fingers. I have to fix that real quick. I did concealer, my favorite is e.l.f. 10 hour camo concealer and I use fair beige elf for my eyebrows um, in dark and then I have some highlighter on Fenty Beauty how many carrots love this stuff and then on my lips I have L'Oreal Paris in eye rule number 414 
just looks like this. And then I decided to do some yellow eyeshadow just on the um, outside corners and on the inside. Um, and I used the Profusion Cosmetics Festival in the shade, I'm pretty sure that's um, Sunny's. Yeah, this one right here. I love this palette. I love anything by um, Profusion Cosmetics. It's great. So I'm gonna use Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Mm, love that stuff. And now I'm gonna put on earrings. I'm gonna wear yellow hoops. I don't know if I told you what I, what we're doing today. Um, yesterday was Ricky's birthday. So today we're going to see him because um, it's Saturday and they're off of work and stuff. I will not be vlogging out of respect. I do have quite a few people in my life who just don't want to be on camera, which I completely understand and I respect that. All right, so I'm going for the whole black, yellow look. Black and yellow, black and yellow. So here is Ricky's gifts. <laughs> You guys, I have a funny story. Well, it's not really me. It's Becky. She has a funny story. Yes, I do. Tell him, tell him. Um, so, I decided I'm going to send a picture of everything we got for Ricky to Eric to make sure we don't get the same thing. And... I had previously texted Ricky. And then what happens? I can send <laughs> the fucking picture. Ooh, I'm saying that word a lot. I'm I send it to Ricky. Like the dumb idiot I am. So then what did you say? I was like, oh, sorry. I meant to send that to someone else. It's um, <laughs> stuff for Misty's birthday. My sister. <laughs> stuff for my sister's birthday. That was so long ago, though. I feel like he probably doesn't even remember anything. In that if thing. I know Ricky, he does. And he's going to be like, I knew this was stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. So here's our outfits of the day. Together. So... I do want to bring something to attention. Oh, God. Amberlynn let me know that a lot oh, of people babe. don't think that I listen to the t-shirts that I wear. Try me. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Um, grande. All right. And then a, uh, what, what was it? The spinach and feta wrap. A uh, spinach and feta wrap. And a chocolate cake pop. And a okay. chocolate cake pop. And that's it. All right, it's gonna be $14.84. Thank you. Yum. Yum. Right now, Becky is actually in a tattoo shop. She is putting down a deposit because she's getting two more tattoos. To a star, I know. Every time we stop somewhere, she's like whining. Um, oh, if you're wondering about these pillows, we're getting rid of them because they're just not my cup of tea. Twinkie has a bed down there. Baby girl, what is it? Mama Bex be back. It's okay. Twinkie actually um, has really bad car anxiety. The vet said that it's very common for small dogs. So she gave us this anxiety treat and it works so good when she's in the car. Um, but I was like asking Becky, I was like, I wonder like, does she feel good on the anxiety? one wanted to hear me like is she okay on it like is she, does she appreciate the feeling of not being scared in the car i just don't want twinkie ever to be uncomfortable obviously normally she's like shaking and she hates being in the car hates it but we really wanted to bring her so she can see trixie and chubbs which is eric, eric and ricky's dogs if you guys don't know if you guys are new to my channel we used to all live together and twinkie was best friends with them so She's probably gonna be so freaking excited to see them. Oh my god, I'm so excited for her. We're currently at Ollie's. 
Okay, you guys, so we just got home. It has been a day. It has been an amazing day. Like, I don't know. It's, so, it's just always so great to hang out with Eric and Ricky. And I love their new home. And it was so great to see Chubbs and Trixie. Twinkie was so freaking pumped. And I knew she would be. So as you guys know, we moved two months ago. And I guess I had some packages go to my old home and Eric and Ricky is closer to there. So they were able to get these packages. Um, I had already canceled BoxyCharm, but I guess I have a BoxyCharm. I have two Ipsies, which those are also canceled. And then I have this bag and this bag, well, packages. We have some surprise packages. I have no idea what they are, but when we were in Ollie's, I was not a vlog, but you know what? I was just like feeling the moment and I didn't really want to do that. So Ricky found this in Ollie's and he was like, this seems right up your alley. So I figured I would give it a try. It's a thousand dot to dot cities, literally only $2. And look at all those dots. Can you guys see them? I don't even know. That's going to be crazy hard. And since I've been doing a lot of reading lately, I did get two books, Water in May and Unnatural Disasters. So... I got both of those just for that was only $8. Like that's a deal. That's why I love all these. So I'm not going to like sit here and open the Ipsy bags because it's always just some like makeup I really don't use. And that's why I canceled the subscription box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cute bags they come in. And if there's anything important, I will show you guys. Okay. So I opened both of these and this is like the reason why I loved Ipsy is because of these bags. Like look how cute. Ugh. But nothing worth talking about besides in this bag, I got a Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm Watermelon Balm with Natural Tint. So I will be keeping that. And that's what it looks like. And then in this one, my favorite thing I got is another lip product. It's just a tinted lip. Um, clearly brilliant tinted lips by the brand Melee in Berry, which looks like this. Now I'm going to open BoxyCharm and if there's anything good, I'll show you. Okay, so in my BoxyCharm, always usually great for products. We got Blue Light Protection Mask. It's like lotion that you put on your face for, um, to prevent your face from whatever could happen from blue light, from looking at your computer, laptop, iPhone, tablet, whatever. And then we got some Too Faced concealer. I have tried Too Faced concealer before. Um, this is the Super Coverage Born This Way and I did not care for it too much, but since this one's different, I'm gonna give it a go. That's what it looks like in the color golden. Then we got Teddy Boy in Butter London, a eyeshadow palette that actually opens like this which is so cute those are the colors then we got some clarence paris velvet lip perfector which looks like this and the last thing we got thank me later eyeshadow primer elizabeth mott which looks like this so i'm probably going to keep these three things the concealer the um lip perfector and the eyeshadow primer so now i'm gonna open these surprise packages i don't even remember what they are because it's been so long so let's open them together i'm pretty excited it's like christmas and i think the fun part is you know how sometimes you get a christmas gift from someone and you're like i don't know if i like that i know i'm gonna like this because i ordered it so that's the fun part and for some reason it doesn't say where either of these are from. It literally just gives addresses that I have no idea what they are. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, I remember. I remember, I remember very clear now. So this is what it is. It says Chanel. Okay, so first of all, knock off high. It even came in this. Chanel bag, oh my god. You guys, my dream is to get a real Louis Vuitton, but my bank will not allow me to spend that much money on my card. The one that I want, which is my 
absolute dream. It is over $3,000. Um, if there was a Louis Vuitton near me, I'd already have it. But yeah, so that has nothing to do with Chanel, but I figured, you know, I should bring that up. So this is actually really cute. Wow, you guys, I can't even tell you how long ago I ordered that. It's crazy. Like I'm talking, I ordered that in probably April. So, all right, next package. I feel like this is gonna be something else like that. I have a feeling because it's like, I don't remember. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> I love a good knockoff Louis Vuitton that's like scrunched up, like living. So no, this is not my dream Louis Vuitton. But oh my God, I also ordered this in like April, you guys. It's like, I have a little bit of buyer's regret because it's like knockoffs. You know how many videos there are on YouTube showing like where you can buy like purses like this? Like Amazon has a lot. Hey guys, okay, so it is the next day. I'm actually currently getting ready because Hannah and Rafe are literally 10 minutes away from here. So they're coming over and we're gonna all hang out. I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing. So here's a little story time. Destiny and Dana yesterday found a kitten literally laying on their front porch it was like early in the morning and um on the verge of uh passing on and so destiny tried to resuscitate it it worked for a minute and so um she noticed that the baby had a bunch of fleas and she obviously wanted the kitten to survive and Unfortunately, it didn't. And then Dana's nephew started mowing the lawn and they found another kitten that looks identical to my cat Wasabi. It's so cute. So they FaceTime me and tell me this whole situation. So obviously there's a mama baby around where they live having kittens and no one's taking care of the kittens. So this kitten seems to be doing a little bit better, you know, kind of lethargic. So they started um, doing whatever they could to, you know, take care of the kitten. And I think it was a couple hours later, um, Destiny FaceTimed me and um, I ended up falling in love with the kitten like literally as soon as i saw it so i gave them money to you know get litter cat litter litter and cat litter i meant to say litter like a litter box um kitten food and i said that i'll pay to take the baby to the vet um and since literally twins with my cat wasabi they said that I could name the cat, so I named her Ginger, Wasabi and Ginger. Oh my God, I thought it was so cute. So the update today, because this all happened yesterday, the update today is that um, she is eating the kitten food. I just hate to see little babies like completely not taken care of. Like that's how I found Rarity. The owner just was like, oh, I don't want her anymore. And like put her outside with a bunch of her other siblings. And I'm just like, what? I also had them get the kitten like a little blanket to lay on. And just, I wanted her to feel as safe as, safe as possible. But she seems to be doing really good. Like they gave her a bath, no more fleas and stuff like that. So I want to show you guys my outfit. These are actually new pants. Are they cute on me? No, but you know, I wanted to switch it up. They are very big, but I kind of like it a little bit because they're like super comfortable. And I did get them from Torrid. Oh, and remember how I told you guys, this room is still a mess, it's getting there. How I told you guys that I needed two more of these picture frames and the store didn't have them. We ended up going to a different store and look at what they had. 
they had it. So I'm excited. The only problem is this one broke, but I kept the little piece. It's somewhere in one of these. <laughs> yeah, it's down in that one. So we're just gonna glue it back. It's already started. Oh my God! Isn't that so cute? Okay, so I drew this for Hannah and Ray. That's Sorry. Becky, by the way. There's a glare on it. <laughs> Let me fix that. I can't draw like that. Hannah's just like, don't get me in here. I'm not, I, I don't got you, Hannah. <laughs> but this is it. That's so, like, it's And so Rafe cute. made this for me. So now we both have one. His name's Tater. <laughs> and for everybody who says I trace, I don't. Because if I did, this would look a whole lot better than it does. <laughs> don't say that. Like, You're look, getting better. Look how goes. janked up his mouth looks. Like, <laughs> like what is that? It's, he's supposed to have a janky mouth. That's yeah. true, that's true. We're hanging this dilly dally. Can they even see us? I can't tell what they see. Wait, can they see you? Oh yeah, okay. We're hanging this. It might be too small for what we're what we're going for, but giving it a go. What are we hanging it with? I thought a tech for now. Okay. Has to be right in the middle. Small one, small one, and then a picture right there. Something, you know? Yeah. That's cute. Look. That's cute, ain't it? I think it's adorbs. <laughs> she is literally playing with one of my EOS lipsticks, lip balms, whatever. Riddle. What are you doing? You sneezing? She's the only cat I've ever met that sneezes. Okay, something I hate about this carpet. <laughs> She's so cute. Depending on which way the carpet is like laying, you know how like when you go like this, it looks a certain way, and then when you go like this, it looks a certain way? It looks filthy. Filthy. What do you do? Oh my god, what if mom uh, takes it from you? What if I take it? What if I take it? What are you gonna do? Go get it! Wasabi's always the bystander. Just watching. Just looking. <gasps> yeah. Hi guys, um, it is the next day and um, I had to run out and do some errands. I went to Walmart and had to get a few things. So, I figured I'd show you. In the guest bedroom slash game room, I need more like shelf space because everything's just sort of crammed underneath the entertainment assist, uh, center. So, I got one of these like skinny tier shelves. I know it looks like it's for a bathroom, but you know, it's whatever I want it for, so. I got these, but they're super cute, and I'm going to wear them around the house because I usually wear my Nike sliders. I originally got them for Amber Lynn, but they weren't her size, so they are more my size. I didn't even pay attention to size. I just grabbed, because they were cute. I got this to put down in the sink to keep our stuff from like, sitting down into the drain and all that. Yeah, it pr protects your sink from scratches and dents. You can put like pots and pans down and on it whenever you're um, filling it with water or trying to drain something, you can sit your colander on top of it. I got this. It's a 
cork hardboard placemat. Um, I got Amberlin these like um, organ, not like shelf organizers for the pantry, and uh, it's made of like wire, like the white wire or whatever. Um, but so is the uh, shelf to the pantry. So whenever I sat it down in there, it fell through and everything slid forward and almost onto the floor. So I'm going to sit this under it to stabilize it. I always check the men's clothes because I like how their stuff fits and it's more me anyways. So of course I couldn't pass these up. They're Naruto sleep pants. Could not pass them up. I'm a sucker for everything and anything Naruto. Because I guess I'm a Naruto nerd. And then I've got I got this because it's hilarious. I've got your back. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it has a spine. Yeah, I know it's awesome. I got a sponge holder for our sponges because it keeps falling into the sink and it grosses me out. So I'm going to be able to store them on this. I got straws that unseal that you can clean on the inside. I've never tried them before. Hopefully I like them. I got these to hang on the inside of cabinets for random things because we're starting to run out of cabinet room. Here's a Halloween tablecloth because we're probably most likely going to have a Halloween get together. Here's a candy dish. So I got a second one. Because, I mean, I don't know what we're going to put in it. So, I just figured two would su suffice. And then I got this cool thing. I saw it and I'm like, holy shit, that's cool. So, there's that. I guess for like a punch or chips. You know, whatever. And then I got this caddy. Because I have a bunch of odds and ends that I just lay around and... I figured I could just lay them in this and it would keep everything nice and organized. And lastly, I got these baskets. I'm going to sit them on the shelf I previously showed you so I can stick um, games, game controllers, uh, electronics, random stuff like that down in it. I hope you enjoyed this mini haul. And I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's nice and rainy and stormy and overcast. Uh, of course, it's overcast because it's storming. Duh. But I'm going to get off here and Amberlynn can pick up where I left off. Hey, guys. Okay, so I do look a bit like a hot mess right now, but... We're okay, we're gonna be fine. So I'm actually about to have me some food. Kung Pao chicken from PF Chains. And this is what it looks like. It's super, super good. And I never finished the whole thing ever. So that just goes to show that's filling. So I do wanna end this video, but obviously it's time for the curvy comment. So let's get into that. So the curvy comment winner is Mystique K. And they said, oh my gosh, look at the sheer size of her abdomen while in the car. And her left hand is holding the seat belt on the side instead of clicking it because she couldn't. She thinks she is so slick by holding the belt with her right hand while pointing her left paws at Becky's phone. Wait, what? Okay, so her left hand is holding the seat belt. And then they said that the, my right hand is holding... What? It's like by holding the belt with her right hand. Okay, so it, all in the same paragraph, you said that I'm holding the seatbelt with my left hand and then you said I'm holding it with my right hand. You make no sense. Honestly, you make no sense because I have physically shown myself literally with the seatbelt clicked in the thing. I have vlogged myself putting on the seatbelt. My hand just happened to have been laying, I guess, in a certain way that you thought I was holding the seatbelt. I don't understand. And I don't understand how you think that in one second I'm holding it with my left hand and the next, 
next sentence I'm holding it with my right hand that it don't make sense. It's just another comment to make me feel bad about myself but in reality I actually feel very very good about myself because I have lost enough weight to actually wear a seatbelt now when that seatbelt never used to fit me at all. Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.